Well, the U.S. Defense Secretary uh, talked about uh, the U.S. success, basically, in building its leadership in the Asia-Pacific region by reinforcing alliance or by building new alliances. Uh, but others expressed the concern that you know such a behavior uh, could lead to, say, the division or dividing destabilizing or even militarizing the entire region. I wonder, uh, what's your opinion on that? The speech by the U.S. Secretary of Defense has got a lot of attention. But honestly, he has not offered some fresh ideas, not many constructive proposals. For instance, they talk about U.S. leadership in the region. But my question is, where are they try to lead us towards greater stability or deeper division more cooperation or more confrontation it's not so clear and we have to listen to what they say but more importantly we have to watch what they are doing so the challenge and the challenge too and violation of one China policy, for instance, and the uh, mounting reconnaissance activities so close to China, uh, setting up of uh, confrontational camps, military alliances, and also introducing of highly enriched nuclear material into the region. All these things. Are they helping us to, greater, uh, to achieve greater stability or are they introducing more elements of instability into the region?